to you. The reason I do it is not to keep myself healthy, but to keep my senses alert. Especially with the chaotic traffic that's in Kathmandu, we need to be very, very alert. And yoga helps you achieving that. So all of you who are driving in Kathmandu, please start back. <laughs> I think somewhere at the back of my mind, I was recalling a, a novel and it's also into a movie called Clear and Present Danger. When you're driving in Kathmandu's traffic, it is actually clear and present danger. You never know who is going to hit you. And if you're riding in a car, you never know who's going to scratch your car. <laughs> and people will probably put the blame at you because you're driving the car. I'm not trying to say that I own a car, but... <laughs> Let's focus on Trust Pastor Deepa. She was, she shared personal experiences. She was talking very nicely. There was good throw up voice. It is very rarely that we uh, had such a thing from Trust Master Deepa. So she was really throwing her voice. She was not running out of breath, which she does when she's speaking. So that's a definite improvement. Uh, there was good body language. When she was talking about being a ninja or trying to be a commando, she was actually portraying a commando. That was amazing body language that you had. And as, as I said, she was not out of breath. Now, where you need to improve? One, avoid using slangs. You were using a lot of gonna gonna, which I think the uh, grammar will also point out. You were talking on a high pitch and the pitch was very flat. So to, this is about vocal variety. It's about taking your voice up, <coughs> down, and pausing. So that was something that you need to improve. OK. Also, there were no pauses. Uh, to the fact that, especially it is recommended, and if you have seen uh, stand-up comedians, when the audience laughs, they take a pause. So when people are really laughing their wits out at one point in time, you should have paused. And in the end, you somehow tapered. I don't know if it came like this. So that should not happen. Now, as far as the project objectives are, to, are concerned, I think that you need to revisit this. For the reason is that this is vocal variety, and especially project nine hinges on vocal variety. And whenever you have to make a persuasive point, and especially in your area of work where you're asking for people to donate and contribute, <laughs> you actually need to be very persuasive. And persuasion comes from great vocal variety. So I hope you'll take that in stride. Otherwise, it was a very good speech. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Very nicely done. The only thing was that if you could have nagged somebody to actually mentor you, I think it would really have been brilliant. Uh, a great speech, but sometimes you don't win everything. <laughs>